Pulls up against Backstrom. Now here's Pasternak. He scores! A no-angle goal! Pasternak's just going to rip it short side. And he scores! Short side! Able to shovel it home on the short side. Step shot score! What a shot! Short side heat around the league. Short side, it is the new five hole. That's just where players are shooting the puck right now. With the Scotiabank NHL 100 Classic less than a week away and the Winter Classic coming up on New Year's Day, we thought it was only fitting to send our talent outside too. So that's exactly what we did. A week C, Rupper and Johnny went outside at Central Park to break down a trend we've been seeing quite a bit this year in the NHL. All right, something we've seen a lot of this year is the short side shelf shot. Guys are taking from tight angles. A few different reasons for it. We're going to walk through out here. We have I'm playing defense. Mike Rupper, blazing speed winger, driving me wide. We have a man driving the back doors. As we get going down, because there's no interference in the neutral zone, Mike Rupp's driving me wide. I'm playing defense. I got to turn with them. I can't hook, I can't hold them. We get down to about here. A couple of things considered. One, back in the day, last year, when he's about to shoot the puck, I'm going to do this and slash him in the hand, slash him on the stick, which may send the puck flying. Not quite as good. So I can't do that this year. It opens up different possibilities. Every team has someone driving the far post. Every team has someone creeping in, whether for a pass or a rebound, traffic, whatever. Goaltender knows that. So goalie has options. Kevin, you see him, you know he can shoot it, you know someone's coming the back door. What are you going to do right now if you're going to play him? Well, if he's got a pass option, which he does, back door, I can't 100% square off to him. Mm -hmm. I can't square off because by squaring off this shoulder, my glove side shoulder is forward. Yeah. That means I'm 100% committed to the shot. So if you do but, square off, yeah. Mike, what do you see? He's playing you straight up. As you're playing, what are you looking for now? All I got to do is get it on that side of the ice, and that he, Kevin's got to adjust and then move to get back. It's a two-part move, I would assume, for a goaltender. That part of the ice is wide open for us to attack. Okay, so let's do that one. Kevin, you're playing straight up. Guy driving the back door. Mike, you're about to shoot the puck. I can't hook you. Where are you going to put it? And there it is, right in the back door to our guy. If you can handle a rebound, if you get a piece of it, there's an option there. So a goalie's got that to think about. He sees the guy going down the back door, he plays him straight up, pass off the pads, there's gonna be a chance there. Goalie knows that, Kevin. What are you gonna do now, recognizing someone's over there? What do you gotta do? Instead of this shoulder being forward and me being 100% square to Rupper, I'm gonna have my glove side pad leg a little bit more parallel mm -hmm. so that I'm taking away short side if it's there. He can't beat me far side, odds are. Mm -hmm. Now, what I also wanna do is have a little bit of weight on this blocker leg. Reason being is if I've got some weight on this blocker leg here, and now this pad's a little bit further back. Mm -hmm. I can kind of go down either in a VH here if I want, or I can hold my feet here. Go ahead, Rupper, bring it in. I can hold my feet here and wait for his move. And once he passes it across, I can literally just push across laterally and be able to make the save. Okay, so that's what the goaltender's thinking. Kev, go back down, whatever you want. You know sure. what's coming up. You go on one knee, whatever you want to do. Yep. Drop your left foot, whatever it is. But what all of a sudden becomes attractive for the shooter, knowing he's not going to get a hook, as he has a little, little spot right here. You can beat him short side or even better. Sorry, Kev. Yeah, if you can bank sure. it, almost bank it off his ear hole, that is an option because he had to drop to protect the backside. And that's what we're seeing. That's why we see so many weak side shots. And the other part of it, these new sticks. Back in the day, if I was going to go down and shoot the puck, even if I'm a left-handed and I have it out here, I have trouble shooting with my stick extended. I'd have to drop my hand, lean on it, and be able to really know. Now, Big, strong guys like Rupper, everyone uses a stick. They can shoot the puck with their hands so close together, passing motion, stick handling motion, or shooting motion. Harder for the goaltender to read and allows them to go short side shelf all the time. And the Blues, two on one the other way. Shen and Upshaw to the net. Shen a shot. He scores! Shen into the top corner. And the Blues take a 3 1 lead. So Rupp will do one in motion. Kev, play it up. Sure. Our, dri our backdoor driver is just a dummy. All right, here we go. He's driving me wide. I can't turn. I can't slash. And he rips it. Beautifully done. Nice shot. <laughs> that was a good shot. And because plays like that, the goalie's reading it, releases like that, we are seeing more and more shots go short side shelf.